Greetings, Sir Arisen. Have you come to enjoy the waters of the curative spring yourself? The injury I sustained in Her Majesty's defense is healing steadily. Yet twill be some time before I am ready to leave. Though I am grateful for this opportunity to convalesce, I grow restless. As there is a matter I wish to investigate post-haste, I wish to know the identity of the villain who orchestrated the attempt on the Empress's life. The rogue you captured has been questioned at length, but last I heard has yet to reveal this information. Methinks you might fare better at breaking his silence. We have been entrusted with a task. Let us approach it with all due care. By your leave, Arisen. What's this? Come for another laugh, have you? Coins a fine thing. Even in a place like this, it's got its uses. Reckon ye must be touched in the head, giving coin to a would-be murderer just to hear his story. Still, suppose I'm no longer a part of this, so I'll tell ye a little something, as thanks for your generosity, cuz. I got this job by way of the Coral Snakes. I only did as I was instructed. If you want to know who I am in the first place, you're best off asking a snake. Lucky for you. Brigand claims to have been employed by the Coral Snakes. Whoever is truly behind this has covered their tracks well. But if Her Majesty is to be protected, we must flush the betrayer out at all costs. Might I beg a moment of your time, Sir Arisen? What I'm about to reveal is known only to a select few in all Batal. I trust you will be prudent. During his interrogation, the brigand let slip that another assassin would be sent to kill the Empress. In the name of caution, Her Majesty has taken up residence in a location known only to me. There she will remain till the danger has passed. My plan is thus. You will inform the Coral Snakes of the Empress's location. A false one, of course. Tell them that you have her in your custody. And that if they wish to confirm her identity, they must come to the empty abode south along Flamebearer Palace Road. For you. Shall we seek some answers? What do you want? You've got the Empress. This some kind of jape? Suppose the fact you're telling this to me means you're in the know. You one of us? Right then. I'll pass these tidings along to our interested party. Where should I tell them to find you? The empty house south of the Pilgrim's Path, is it? Fair enough. Fear not. 
I'll arrange for the interested party to meet you in the empty house, south of the Pilgrim's Path. Sir Arisen, I take it you have given the Coral Snakes the information we discussed. Then the villain behind Her Majesty's assassination will doubtless be compelled to act with all due haste. And so must we. Let us begin our preparations presently. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack. Might I implore you to play the part of a bandit, Sir Arisen? As one of Her Majesty's champions, my face is like as not to be known to our villain. I have also employed the aid of a woman resembling Her Majesty in stature and build. She will fulfill the role of Empress during the exchange. No, Manella. We must go ourselves. Your Majesty, I don't think... Should the ruse be discovered too soon, the renegade may flee and escape justice. We must confront them, so that our land and its people... Understood. Then I shall guard your majesty with my life. We must needs be ready for whatever comes, Sir Arisen. Pray. I suspect the villain will approach under cover of night. Are your preparations concluded? I am glad to hear it, and not a moment too soon. We have received word that someone approaches our location. Find a way to loosen the villain's tongue. I shall remain hidden till the opportune moment presents itself. May all go as planned. I am come. Would you kindly open the door? Let us not waste time. I am here to confirm the identity of your captive and naught else. Indeed. Tis the Empress and none other. Fortunately for you. Tis by the Coral Snakes' failure that she yet lives. I trust you are prepared to rectify this mistake. Go on. Kill her. That is far enough. You must forgive me. I suspected foul dealings from the moment I heard the Empress was being held here. However, with this display you have earned my trust. In truth, she cannot die here. We must have her meet her, and in a place more fitting. Tell me. Do you know what it takes to inspire action in this world? Tragedy. Yes, tragedy. The emotion that floods forth in the wake of such events can change the world entire. Consider what a tragedy of singular measure, such as that of a great leader martyred for her ideals could achieve. Why? The flames of revolution would burn eternal. A worthy funeral pyre for an empress, wouldn't you agree? And so Her Majesty's tragedy must be made a spectacle of, that all Batal might bear witness and shed tears of blood. So this was your aim. It all becomes clear. On your knees, we have you surrounded. Sir Armhild! So it was you! Manella, this little ruse was your doing. And as for your majesty, I must say, I am disappointed. You would go so far to save your own neck, 
rather than do what is best for the future of this country. We understand what you desired to achieve, yet we also believe that no ideal can truly be born from bloodshed. Perhaps you will ponder this in your solitude. By our authority as Empress, we hereby place you under arrest. I shall escort Sir Ermhild to her cell. That fool understands naught. We pity Ermhild. <laughs> 